Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Sonali from It Starts At Home and I hope everybody is doing well, everybody is doing great and making sure that they are keeping themselves healthy. Also guys, if you're looking for fun, engaging and interactive activities to do with your kids in less than 10 minutes with the stuff available at home or the printables that I make or I provide out of free, uh, this is the right space for you. All you have to do is just subscribe and hit that bell icon. All right, guys. So um, first of all, thank you so much for pouring in all the messages for checking out that where was I and why was I not posting videos on my regular times. So we are feeling much better. Thank you so much. All three of us are fine. I got an ear infection, but I'm fine now. Vivan just had a little running nose. He got hurt, but he's much better. Thank you so much for everything. I really appreciate that. Also, I would just want you to check on the community post that I have mentioned that I'm going to be hosting a creative writing competition for kids age 5 plus. Just let me know if you're interested. Just leave a comment below in the comment section that yes, you your kid would be inclined or you would want to participate. And if or if you have any questions, just let me know. Don't worry about your kids cannot write. For, uh, for younger kids, they can always do oral uh competition and for young uh, for elder kids i would say a written competition uh they will definitely get a participation certificate and they are going to get the winners are there are two winners and they're going to get a surprise gift definitely all those details are going to come up but i just wanted to check that if you're interested only then i will be able to host this i've already got 110 people uh, i've got 110 people voting for it so that's phenomenal but if you haven't seen that um please make sure that you leave a comment right in the section uh, below and all right so let's get started for today's video so i have picked up the coding topic in many of my previous videos and i've shared with you like printables i have uh, i've been doing it with one for like three and a half four years now the pre-coding activities because the pre-coding activities just help the kids to understand what exactly uh coding is or we try and use the same words that are used uh, when they're actually doing coding on the computer but for the kids who are not doing that i always try and make activities around it so i have made a module which is a five set five topics module which covers everything in coding i have shared two videos already on that but the brand new one i'm gonna sh i'm gonna share the first one with you today which is algorithms and after algorithm is going to be sequencing so there are five and i'm gonna go um I'm going to showcase all of them and definitely uh, it's very interesting. I've put in a lot of effort to create the whole docket and uh, I can't wait to show it to you guys. Okay, so let's get going. Let me show it to you. All right, guys, so this is the activity I was talking about, which is pre-coding directions. If your child can all, uh, already identify arrows like going ref left right up or down okay so this would be the first stepping stone for the kids to understand directions and um, the activity is based on three parts advanced intermediate and sorry uh, beginners intermediate and advanced there are 24 to 25 activities in this and definitely the child would be able to do it i would say this is primarily for age um, four plus and i would say from four to um Six and a half, seven will be able to do this. For seven onwards, I've made it more interesting, which is in part two. So let's get going. I can't wait to show this to you guys. So this says we're going to learn and work on arrows by coding the directions as per the block assigned. And um, yeah. All right. Let me open the book and show it to you. So this says easy activity. Replicate the arrows in the same space as the one on the next page. So as you see, I have used this colors and the color is primarily the coding and the arrows are showing on which color the arrow is going to come. So they have to look at the arrow in the direction. They have to look at the color and then they have to replicate the same thing. So it's just not replicating activity. It's primarily looking at the arrow. So the first activity might look very, very simple, but gradually when you move forward, the activities get more complex because remember I told you, you have easy, intermediate and advanced so let me show you a couple of them so this is again an easy activity but there are like just two arrows here let me show you a medium one all right so medium one you have a grid of three by three right here and um, uh, you have a couple of arrows which are not at the proper space all right they are in between these blocks and the kid has to exactly pick this up and put it right here okay so hey they have to make sure that the arrow is made in this position where it shows 
so you have a couple of activities right here and uh, then you have the medium one also gets very advanced and now we have a couple of advanced activities that I wanted to show you to you. So advanced activities, copy the arrows to the next page, make sure the location is same. So what I've done here, I've already made two, okay? And uh, the kid has to make the rest of them. And now if you will see, the grid is extremely, um, uh, there are many colors here and there are a lot of combinations of things are going. To make it more confusing, I have just put one color okay and there is no logic or no order going and uh, two of them are already here and the same thing here there are many arrows now going left and right they have to make sure that they pick it up and they put it right here so primarily the kids have to know what direction they're looking at what's the space and whether it's between two of them it's between three of them where does it come so the location space and color really makes an important place so uh, here so i'm so happy guys that i could show this uh, book uh, book to all of you there are um, five modules that i've made only for algorithm the next one is sequencing which i will be showcasing to you but i just wanted to like um, show that this is what you can do at home with kids if you're looking for the printable for this one it's a paid printable and you can just email it to me uh, on sonali kapoor zero at gmail.com and i'll be happy to share it with you guys but if you try and recreate this at home please do share with me or like tag me uh, if you use it i'll be more than happy to just see your version as well make sure guys you like comment and hit that subscribe button uh, leave your comment and let me know what you think about it or if you're already doing something or if you want to see something ready um, if you want to see a particular video so thanks for watching guys see you next time